Hi everyone, this is my week 5 to 6 work in progress video and I'm continuing working on my any seasons to the animation to demonstrate the moody sense through the cake flavor. In these two weeks, I've shifted my projects into production and do some extra preparations and learnings outside the project to help me with for the image drawing and animating process. So following the previous timeline, I actually pushed my project schedule a little bit forward to start animating scene 1, which is the cake shop starting animation, in these two weeks as I found myself animating really slow and hardly drawing some complex movements. And I've also got good news for my project as well. I found some students from Pleasure of Digital Media to collaborate with me on some design for my project so that I can actually focus in on producing animations. So returning back on these two weeks work in progress, I did my scene one line animations and to help me with the production, I did some extra preparations of learning some elements drawing and movements. To enhance the moody sense, I think it may be better for the project to have some little voiceovers. So I did the voiceover script writing as well. Based on my current scene 1 storyboards, I animated those shorts and I actually started a little bit after part 2 for the strawberry rotating and the strawberry girl appearing. So to start animate, I refined the line joints on my key shots for scene 1. I redesigned the scenes from white cake shops to some closer shots of the inner space of the shop. And I also refine the character drawings as well, trying to maintain the eye feature of the set Annie with a sharp line inside the eye. And trying to show any smooth change through the changes through eyes, from the sharp line at the start towards eyeball returning back to normal, and after smelling the cake, and also until your eyeball turning into the heart to open the strawberry scene. I'm trying to demonstrate this changing process through the clear drawing of the character but without any very obvious change and too much notifications. I just want to lead the audience to feel the change a little bit step by step. When I'm animating and drawing the character movements, I found there are a lot of hand movements in my current shots while I'm hardly animate through some clear drawings. And I learned the basic skeletal structure of the hand outside the project production. And I practiced drawing of some basic hand movements from a relaxing state until picking up the things and then I tried to apply them and simplify those drawings when animating the character hand movements in my scene 1 animations. As I find that hand movements is really important to demonstrate my project narrative, so it's a really important and necessary part for me to learn. Except the hand, while I was animating, I found some simple drawings of trees and building and space are also important to demonstrate my scenes. As in scene 1, there are some settings for the strawberry forest, and in scene 2, there are some settings for some wishful trees with the wind bells. And in scene 3, there are trees as well. So I practiced the drawings of trees and the space to get a basic sense of drawing the trees, buildings, and the space so that I can simplify it when I'm drawing later scenes. And I'm planning to apply and simplify these kinds of tree drawings in my tarot which forth tree drawings and which hands the wind bells in my later productions. While I was animating the end part of scene 1, I tested the strawberry animations. At first, I'm considering doing some strawberry rotate animations, but when I was animated it in Clip Studio Pants, I found a little bit hard on animate and imagine the rotating movements of strawberry. So I think maybe it would be better to animate a strawberry rain falling down. I tried to group several parts of strawberry and I combined them together. I also tested camera movements on strawberries. This is the part that is start of the part 2 storyboards. And after testing and doing those previous experiments, this is the whole scene 1 line animation which I produced during these 2 weeks after learning and testing. I haven't gone through the colors of my projects. Hopefully I will test the coloring style in my next work in progress videos.
After producing the long animations, I wrote the voice over scripts. They are all the cuts and Annie's personal monologue, but there will not too, be too many because I tried to arrange them in some key shots to inform some important narrative, such as at the start of the scene there will only be one voiceover to enhance the character's great mood, and at the start of the strawberry scene there will be another one voiceover to enhance the character's pinky mood. For the language using, I'm trying to add in a little bit of metaphor to not showing the character's mood very obvious, but demonstrate in an unclear and sensible way through some verbs of like being purple like a taro, and also I'm colored. My next step will be working on next part of animation for scene 2, and do some improvements for current scene 1 animations. And this is my week 5 to 6 work in progress. Thanks everyone for listening.